inference for two proportions. First, we will look at the nominal binary data as our response variable. For our explanatory variable, we would like to use ordinal binary in C9. In order to create a confidence interval or hypothesis test, we can go to the stat menu, basic statistics, two proportions. For the option selected, samples in one column, this is if the response variable is in one column only, like C1, our nominal binary variable. Subscripts refers to the explanatory variable. For us, that's C9. We can click the Options button to change the confidence level, the null value, or the alternative hypothesis. If you would like the denominator of your test statistic to include the overall p-hat, the overall successes in the sample, ignoring the two groups, check off the box Use Pooled Estimate of P for test. In the output, the first thing that we want to make sure we see is the response variable is identified as the event. We're looking at yeses as the success. Then our explanatory variable needs to appear here. Our explanatory variable has the two groups high and low. Then the number of yeses for each of those groups is counted as x, the number of successes. That appears here in the output. We can find the confidence interval, the test statistic, and the p-value. What happens if your response variable is already broken up into two groups or two columns of data? It would look something like this. The responses that we're interested in are the actual outcomes of the variables. The explanatory variable is already broken up into two groups as the column headings, high and low. Minitab can handle data in this way as well. We'll go back to the stat menu, basic statistics to proportions. This time we do not have our samples in one column. They are in different columns. So we need to choose the second option. Enter your columns in the order that you choose. Make sure that all of the options are set correctly. This time let's create a 99% confidence interval. Once again, our response variable outcome of yes is described at the top. Then the two outcomes for the explanatory variable are below that. Here is the confidence interval and the test statistic and p-value for the hypothesis test. What happens if we are only given summary information?
the number of successes x as 16 for the high group and 14 for the low group, and then the sample size, 25 for high and 25 for low. Minitab can still perform the inference for us. We'll go back to the stat menu, basic statistics to proportions. But this time we have summarized data. Events are the number of successes, the 16 and the 14. Trials is the sample size for each group, 25 and 25. Notice that we have the same results as the first set of inference that we did. Here is the confidence interval, the test statistic, and p-value.